Hi guys, I am Radhishree. I recently cleared my AMC MCQ exam in May of this year. So I am here to share my journey and the resources I used and who is eligible to take the AMC exam and all of those. So first, who is eligible to take the AMC MCQ exam? Uh, recent graduates or any graduate who has obtained their medical degree, uh, original medical degree is eligible to take the exam because that is needed to apply you know, that document is needed to while you are applying for the exam. And the AMC MCQ exam is a three and a half hour exam, which consists of about 150 MCQs and there is no negative marking. And but the total score is uh, 500 marks. Uh, but the passing score is 250. So you need 50% uh, to pass the exam. But 50% in each category, they test you. Uh, AMC MCQ is an exam where they test you your clinical knowledge in adult medicine, adult surgery, child health, mental health, population health, and women's health. Uh, adult health covers about 30% of the questions from the 150 questions, and the adult surgery is about 20%. And rest, all other subjects are around 12.5%, and in the total, they make 150 questions. So that means we don't know which question is a tougher one, which is an easier one, and I mean, uh, which question carries how many marks. So you have to you know, pass every subject in the whole 150 MCQs. Like you have to clear, you have to pass the uh, border of medicine, surgery and OBG1. So it's not like uh, in over the whole 150, I'm going to uh, do 75 correct and I'm going to get 250. It doesn't work that way. So you will be tested in every aspect of the 150 question of all the subjects, basically. So next coming to uh, my resources and my timeline. First, we'll go through the resources I used. Uh, I used uh, a bridging course. Uh, bridging courses are something where you have to, uh, you know, you, uh, you can uh, watch the recorded videos, uh, you know, basically lecture videos on all these topics. So I used a bridging course. I'll also mention uh, all the bridging courses I know. So I will personally not recommend any one course because it depends on you and you can choose any one you want. I used a bridging course and I used uh, John Murta. I used AMC MCQ handbook and the anthology book uh, and I used uh, ethics, 100 cases of ethics. So these are all the books I used and the recalls, especially the recalls of the last. I did 2023 and 2024 recalls by the time I gave my exam. I gave my exam in April. So I did all the recalls from last year and this year. Recalls are very important because the exact question never is repeated to anyone. But the topics are a lot repeated and that is what that is where the you know you can uh, do confidently in the exam so my timeline uh, at first i sta i started uh, preparing for mc mcq in december and i gave the exam in april and my results came out in may so in december when i joined the course uh, i did was i started attending the lectures or whenever i couldn't i used to do the recorded lectures and parallelly, I started the handbook at first because doing questions is my kind of learning, I can say. So what I did was I used to uh, attend the lectures. Like if there is a topic going on cardiology, I used to do parallelly those questions. I used AMDEX uh, question bank, which consists of about one 1500 questions. Uh, and there's another Q bank, M plus X, but it consists of about 6000 and 7000 questions. And the explanations are completely different in AMDEX and M plus X. AMDEX gives you broad explanations like clear, clarified explanation. But the N plus X, uh, the explanations are very short and not that, you know, uh, topic oriented also. So that is why I chose AMDEX. And uh, so AMDEX consists of 1,500 questions. So uh, I used to do AMDEX and AMC MCQ handbook also. So um, with the classes I used to, you know, regularly listen to. So my course completed uh, around uh, March. Uh, by the time I finished my AMC handbook uh, two times, I did it two times. I did AMDEX once. And in the last month of my exam, I started doing the recalls. I didn't do the recalls at the start because I don't know. It might give you an edge that, okay, I did all the recalls. So I'm going to clear the exam. No, it doesn't work that way. So I didn't want to get my hopes up. So I did the recalls in the end. And... Regarding the mock exams, I gave about four to five mock exams. So the ANC handbook consists of one mock exam uh, in the sense that it's a practice exam uh, at the start of the book. 
so i didn't do it when i was you know do, doing the questions from the book so i kept it till the last so i gave mocks i gave three mocks in the start uh, first mock was i gave when because i'm giving the exam in april i have to fix the date in march so i'm not sure whether i should you know go to the exam or postpone it so i gave my mock before confirming the date and i just passed i got around 53% or something but for that exam the pass rate was around 60% so i was like okay i came to the border so i can cover it up in the you know coming month where i have to revise a lot of uh, i have to put a lot of hard work so i thought okay i can go through it and uh, so i but i couldn't manage my time in my first mock so i realized okay i have to do more mocks uh, for the time management and also you know to build up my confidence so that i don't have to worry after going into the exam so uh, what happened was i did my first mock i got around 52% and but i was confident i could do it so i booked the date and then i started lot of recalls and while doing recalls i understood which is my weak area i mean which uh, which uh, topic i have to you know revisit again so i used to go back i used to revisit all, all those concerned topics and then i used to uh do all the recalls again and again recalls is a game changer i would say uh it just you know shows you which topics are tested more and more and where you have to be you know thorough with your preparation so uh, that is about my preparation uh okay coming to one week and two weeks before my exam so what happened was uh, i started doing uh, the that two to three months recalls before my exam a lot more and revising my weak areas uh like if there's a weak area in my obgyn or medicine i used to revise them a lot you know when my exams approaching i put in a lot of hours more and i made study partners actually study partners will really help you uh if you are in the same path like in the same month when you're giving and all so study partners will help you and you know because you will have an accountability so i would suggest get study partners who are in the same you know uh, space as you and uh how did i use my john murtha that is a very important question a lot of people ask so john murtha i didn't go from page to page so john murtha is only for medicine you can say so when you're uh, going through the john murtha uh, starting i used to waste my time but later on i got to know it's not needed to you know know every single detail in john murtha so what i did was i uh, when i was doing my uh, some topic which is very difficult to me i used to you know uh, go to john murtha and search that topic and if i find it is okay very good and then i used to go to john murtha if not you don't have to uh, read line to line in john murtha and i also used various resources like ecg is a very uh, uh, tough topic for me especially so i used various youtube resources where you, you can get all the so free um, i i saw multiple videos for some topics where i couldn't you know grasp it once at a time so i used uh, resources like that and this is uh, my preparation timeline and everything so if you have any more questions uh, you can uh, comment down and i will uh, you know respond to all of them and there are other resources also like uh, kaplan surgery kaplan psychiatry a lot of kaplan step 2 books which i use for the uh, ncmcq exam and i would suggest if you uh, if you think you need more resources i would suggest you to go through all of them uh and that's it for the preparation i guess so coming to recalls uh how do you get recalls so there are recalls available in a lot of telegram groups and uh whatsapp groups where when you once you fin- uh, once you enter into the ncmcq preparation phase uh you can join multiple groups you can find partners and all so people who gave the exam previously like last year or Uh, like last month or something they come and they say uh, that this is the topic that i'm tested uh, these are the topics that i remember in the 150 topics that they tested so um, so those recalls are very important i wouldn't say only recalls uh, will uh, you know make you pass no that is not like that you have to uh, you know if you have a solid foundation on all the topics then recalls is like an ice uh, tip of the iceberg you know then help you a lot but not in the sense ki i'll do only recalls and go to the exam i wouldn't suggest that but i would suggest uh, gather all the recalls and don't believe the answers that are already selected in the recalls do your own research and uh, do your own reading regarding that topic 
and regarding the topics if that if anything is not available in the uh, amc handbook i would suggest you uh, go to the google uh, if it's uh, take a topic like osteoporosis so go to google and type osteoporosis management rscgp guidelines i will stress it once again rscgp guidelines is the you know guideline for every topic uh, tested in the amc mcq so go to google type and you will get a pdf regarding that topic and go through it so whenever you're doing recalls i would suggest you go through the whole topic because they won't just test you what the recaller gained in the question and lot of recallers also don't remember the exact question and all so i would suggest do your own research uh, make sure you're thorough about the topic and then you know uh, sort of think that okay i did the recalls if not i wouldn't say that you have to you know just follow blindly whichever answer some other people marked over in the recalls this is what my preparation is uh, and i gave the exam in 4 months and i think it is doable i think the exam is doable with proper preparation and uh, the amc exam doesn't have any number of limits uh, for the number of times you can give the exam so don't uh, you know disheartening yourself if you are if you did not clear the exam in the first attempt so i would say uh, keep going uh, do the exam and a lot of people say it is tough to pass uh, in the first attempt but i would say uh, take a minimum of 4 uh, to 6 months uh, uh, you don't have to give it in 4 months i would say at least to 6 months uh, and i will also po uh, post the links uh, for the resources i mentioned i will post down in the description box and you can download from them uh, there are free resources so uh, any more questions you have regarding the amc mcq exam uh, preparation and all you can comment down below and i will reply to all of them thank you for watching